Hello friends and neighbors, Swaggy Man Piper 1926 here. I'm gonna get you at a good angle. Um gosh, it's been a minute. I've at least normally made a video, you know, on normal Monday. Labor Day had me messed up. Smoking my uh, Peterson St. Patrick's Day B10. This was uh, St. Patrick's Day of 2020. The, that wonderful year. <clears throat> and in it. Give me a sec here. It's one of the blends that I've made. Which is kind of what I sort of like to, sorry, one of these days I'll get a, a stand that I can like sit next to me and maybe, uh, anyway, so this is smoking a blend that I made or put together as it was, it was a C and D cigar leaf, um, Some new minister light burly. And some H H Mature Virginia. Which I don't think is uh handled anymore or uh made anymore. I might be wrong on that, but I don't think I've seen it. I think it's just straight Virginia. I don't think I've seen a mature Virginia. But. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I put this together. It. Uh, it, it the cigar leaf. You know I bought the cigar leaf because I wanted to try it. Because every now and again I, I want to taste it. You know, taste a little bit of cigar, and thought, well, what's what's the cigar leaf by itself? And then, well, I've got this mature Virginia. Um, gosh, I think Pat or uh, Paladin sent me back in the spring, maybe. And same for the light burley. So I kind of put that stuff together. Um. let it set for about a month and pulled it out tried it and you know it was all right still kind of harsh around the edges i guess you'd say which you know i'm no blender i didn't expect to make a fantastic blend I was just hoping for a palatable blend. Well, I thought, I'm never going to finish it if I don't put it in the van. So I've been carrying the jar around in the van. This was an actual full jar, or mostly full, you know, not packed, but full. And when I started putting it in the van, more so I'd notice that, you know, it would start to cool down. And, uh, you know, as it was cool down, you know, course of the evening and the nights and, you know, in, in the uh, morning time, daytime, it would heat up. And condensation is what I'm trying to get at was, was forming in the jar. And got me to thinking that it may not be um, stoving. I think that's the right word. Stove. Stove steamed. 
maybe not necessarily doing that to the blend but whatever it was exactly made everything smoother So, I really hated that. I'm almost at the end of the door. Because <laughs> I've, I've gotten to where I really like this stuff. And that's the sad thing about... Oh, let me pick my foot here. Uh, that sad thing about trying to blend something and you've got you know, components that you can't really get anymore. Uh... What is going? It's going. I started off um, smoking my my sportsman with some. Out stream, I think it is. And it's good. It wasn't what I wanted. Which is why I got this. Because it's cooling down. You see me in a long sleeve. It is cooling down. Did a little bit of weeding today. Did some more on the, the porch, ceiling, roof, whatever you want to call it. A little bit here and there. Not enough money to do a bunch. Plus, it's been a bad week. I don't know if I told you that earlier or not. <clears throat> Labor Day threw me off, and this week has just been terrible. No real time of the evenings. Um, my morning, every morning, was got running late. So I've had to take Russell to school. So me trying to sit out here and make kind of a morning video. This week, this week was just not conducive for videos. I don't think I really even got to watch hard of it. Maybe next week will be better. Matter of fact, I'm sure it probably will be. Uh, you folks take care of yourselves. Try you some blending. Best of luck. Everyone should give it a go every now. Everyone should have a chance to try it out. You never know. You might make you a... A... Uh, Blends you wish you always had. Take care. And remember, kindness costs us nothing.